hell. It's about time. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Get it how you live it. Ten toes in when we standing on... Well, better late than never. Hi, everyone. Mechanid here. Good, Good news, news, everyone. everyone. We finally got plastic melee weapons. It's only been, what, a year since we needed them, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. I'm not salty at all, so let's get right into this mess. My name is Mechanid, let's get started. In this upgrade kit, you get a pretty sizable set of tools. 10 chainswords, 2 chainswords and sheaths, 2 heavy chainswords, 2 charnable sabers, 2 thunder hammers, 4 power swords, 2 being drawn and 2 in hand, 2 power lancers, 4 power axes, 4 power mauls, and 4 power fists. Also, 4 lightning claw assemblies for turning the power fists into lightning claws. You also get 2 augury scanners, 2 melter bombs, 2 slung bolters, 2 hand flamers, 2 plasma pistols, 4 volkite serpenters, 4 phobos pattern bolt pistols, 4 umbra pattern bolt pistols, and 4 tigress pattern bolt pistols, along with 8 hands split across 4 different styles, 10 heads across 5 styles, so 2 of each style, and 42 arms split across 21 styles, so a pretty hefty kit. While there is no price listed, I'm going to assume it's going to be a similar cost to the heavy and special weapons upgrade sets, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was more expensive because of the amount of bits that you get. But fingers crossed, we can always hope. Now onto the good. First off, this is a good thing that we got this kit in the first place, despite how late it is. This will make melee armies much more viable and easy to construct, so especially for things like big units of despoilers or melee weapon veterans, so that's good. I like the look of many of these weapons. I don't think any of them are particularly bad. They're all fine. I would have liked to have seen more display models with these weapons on in the article, so we can get an idea of their scale and the poses they're in. But it's likely that that showcase article will be coming soon, so no worries there. I like the fact that we are finally getting charnable weapons. I wish we had more than just sabers, but I think this is a case where counts as is for the best. Likewise, I like the fact that we're getting more pistols, flamers, and serpenters, and they're all great additions, and I'm glad that these weren't overlooked. On that point, I like the fact that this upgrade sprue comes with lots of other bits of kit. One of my big problems with the heavy and the special weapons upgrade kit is that it lacks other tools like augury scanners, with the exception of this data pad from the heavy weapons kit. So seeing all these extra doodads and thingies, I like this a lot. It also comes with extra heads and off hands, and I'm always a big fan of guns on slings, so good job there. Finally, I like the fact that this kit comes with so many arms. 42 is enough to kit out a full 20-man squad and have an extra pair of arms left over, so good job there. Unfortunately, there is some bad. Straight away, this kit doesn't include any chain axes. This is naturally going to be a sticking point for any World Eaters player, and while I get that you don't want to include any weapons for a single Legion, it feels to me like a wasted opportunity. This also implies to me that there will be a resin chain axe upgrade sprue sometime in the not so distant future, so World Eaters players, I guess you have that to look out for. While I like that this kit includes different patterns of bolt pistols, the fact that the pistols come in multiples of 4, while most Space Marine squads work on multiples of 5, means that you'll always be a man short if you want all of your guys to have the same pistol. Even if the sergeant has different loadouts, this means that you'll need an additional box at least to kit out a full 10-man or 20-man squad. Also, the way some of these weapons are modelled is a bit weird. I find that the two-handed spear and two-handed thunder hammer is a bit odd when neither weapon has those rules. This could, for example, cause some issues when modelling things like breaches. But I don't think this is too much of a major issue. I would have preferred them in a single hand as you can easily run a pistol with them. The fact that they are in two hands also will make modelling more challenging for newer players, and while I'm all for encouraging players to get better at the hobbycraft side of the game, I don't think this is the way that that should be done. I think these poses will make armies feel more similar and less unique, where a more flexible, single-handed design would not, and I think a single-handed design would be far easier to alter and to change to the player's liking. The fact that this kit only comes with 10 chainswords means you'll need two boxes if you want to make a 20-man mob of despoilers, so that's not great. Furthermore, the fact that this kit only comes with 10 chainswords which are in hand means you'll need two boxes if you want to make a 20-man mob of despoilers, so that's not great. Furthermore, the fact that the special melee weapons only come in groups of 4 and 2 means you'll struggle to fill out big units of veterans and command squads. This, coupled with the point about chainswords, implies to me that Games Workshop wants you to buy two of these boxes at least. 
So whatever the price is, just bear in mind that you may have to pay it twice to get all the stuff that you want. And especially when you compare that to the special and heavy weapons kit that you likely only need to buy one of to fill out a full 10 man squad of tactical support marines or heavy weapon marines respectively. Lastly, and the biggest mark against this kit is the fact that it is late. I cannot stress this point enough. We, as a community of quote-unquote gamers, gamers, needed this kit months ago. And if GW can take away one lesson from this, is that releasing model rangers in drips and drabs does not help build a community and doesn't foster any love from that community. By not having this kit available earlier, it means that GW creates a barrier to entry that has no reason to exist and is quite frankly, very silly. Hopefully they will see how well received this kit is and will be encouraged to release upgrade kits for things like Breachers and Recon Marines, or dare we dream, complete sets for those units. In summary, I am happy to see this upgrade kit come out, but the question that looms in my mind is, is it worth the wait? And I'm gonna say no. That is because we have had to wait so long. This kit was meant to come out in the spring of 2024 alongside the Command Squad, and as such, no matter what they released, I don't think I could be very happy with it. The fact that this kit, which is going to be an integral part of many 30k armies, especially the melee ones, was not released shortly after the launch of 2.0 is a damning indictment of Games Workshop. Now, that's not to say that other people can't be happy and satisfied with this kit, and I'm glad that it's finally here, but I personally don't feel like this kit was worth the wait at all. And that's also not to say that this is a bad kit, but because it's so late, it doesn't live up to any expectations. I think that the response to Games Workshop should be along the lines of, thank you for bringing out this kit, but we needed this way sooner. Either don't promise things and not deliver on them, or give a realistic release date for the products that we, the customers, want. In short, this kit is a little bit of everything, but not enough of any one thing. It has a lot of options, but maybe not enough of those options to cover all of your needs. As always, if you do want this kit, I would still say to wait until it hits discount retailers and not to impulse buy. What are your thoughts on the melee weapons kit? And will you be buying them? And if so, what units will you be buying them for? Stay tuned for more. My name is Mechanid. Thanks for watching. It has a lot of options, but maybe not. Fuck's sake.